Or just feeds the good bacteria in here, guys. I went to the farmer's market, but I'm gonna go to the, there's like a farm and a farmer's market. My little local farm has been out of the carrots. So anyway, I had to get back on my carrot game because carrots are a really good fiber. Let's go, it's a really beautiful day. I'm kind of excited to just sort of walk around and get some stuff done. Already giving you a little sneak preview as to what I got for the giveaway but did I buy every single flourishing mug that they had yes I did look at okay so Hannah you are so sweet she got me one of these she won one of my giveaways and she sent me in return this flourishing mug and it is just the cutest thing I've ever seen so I had to literally get one for all of us so they only had three, but I bought them all out. So I am going to be giving these away for a long time so we can all be in the flourishing mug club. Okay, stop, how cute is that? Okay, okay, I'll just show you. No, cause I wrapped the mugs in my dresses. <laughs> but look what I got. I just needed to go get some more tweezers and then I was, uh, the one thing I use that's like not necessarily like clean beauty is mascara. I don't know if that's, but I really like the Maybelline Lash Sensational and then I use the Too Faced little mini one. It's blue. It's like their waterproof one. So I use those in combination. It's my favorite. So that's what I do. Look what I got. Is this not the throwback of the century? Like, I just felt like having a quest bar. For good old time's sake, I wanted to have one. Sometimes you just want to have a quest bar, you know? So chocolate chip cookie is always, chocolate chip cookie dough is always my favorite. When they first came out though, like genuinely when, before I started working with Quest Bars, when they first launched, they were at my health club that I went to at the time. That was when they came out with the their coconut flavor and that was by far my favorite flavor and just, oh, their ingredients were so good. Anyway, they don't, I, they don't make that flavor anymore. It was literally my favorite flavor of all time and I just remember like, oh, but now we have a chocolate chip cookie dough. This is such a throwback. Uh, this makes me happy. Oh, stop. It's good. It's so good. I'll show you what I got from the farm once we get back to the house, but so good. I'm back. We're back. Obviously, we're back. I know I just planted an herb garden, but I kind of want to... Okay, let me know what I'm even... Let me know what I'm even supposed to do. Like, I feel like if I use the cilantro, I'm just going to use up a whole thing of it at once. I actually need to know what to do. Should I only use a little bit at once? You know, like with mint, I feel like I can pick, up, pick off a couple leaves, you know? But with the cilantro... I make chimichurri. Like I use like a whole head of it at once. So let me know what I should do because I still bought herbs. <laughs> okay, let, seriously, seriously let me know what I should do. Asparagus, we got asparagus. We got parsnips. I think I'm gonna roast these tonight and make them tonight. I love parsnips. And then these are my favorite of all time. These mellow grapefruits, I crave them. They're pro it's probably one of my favorite fruits now. I love them so much. So they're huge too. And then I grabbed an avocado, delicious. I stocked up on all of our oranges, cara cara oranges, and then just regular navel. And then an apple a day feeds the acromancia, or just feeds the good bacteria in your gut. <laughs> and then I got some lime, picked up another onion, and then some potatoes. Let me show you what I got from Target. This is actually a giveaway. I got this for you as a giveaway. Look at this little getaway bag. That print with the palms is everything. This is absolutely adorable. I picked up another one of these. I really like these from Hearth and Hand. The, so this is a two cup measuring cup, and I have the bigger one, and I really like it. And I like that this one is smaller because sometimes I just feel like this is gonna be very, very well used in our kitchen. Yeah, and I got my mascara and then I got you, so this is gonna be in this giveaway too, I got you a flourishing mug. I just, this mug is 
I am obsessed with it. So it's the same thing on the back and the front. That is our mug. That's her mug. Even if you have a different word for the year, that's still our mug. <laughs> it's our mug. So I ended up getting that little white dress that I tried on that I showed you. I just, it's just, it's so comfortable. It's an easy throw on outfit that's just super comfortable. Also got this other little dress that's also just gonna be really nice for summer. It's like a really good length too. And it just, it, the fit was really good. So if it fits really good and it's comfortable, I got those couple dresses and then I just got a bunch more mugs. So <laughs> that's what I got. I'm gonna throw some garlic in there with them. Hmm. I think this is gonna be a really good dinner. Mm. Hello there, Meester. Okay, you're very adorable. So beautiful. Did you get a little hop water? Yes, I did. I had it. Oh, this is the good kind with no... Mmm. Mmm. Okay, what do you think? That's incredible. Really? How'd you do this? Is it super good? Yeah. Oh, my God. Wait, what? The real surprise is you got those parsnips tasting really good yeah i didn't know you can do what you did you turn them into a potato and they taste very <laughs> good into a potato. <laughs> like, i don't know if a kid would eat parsnips as is mm -hmm. but they definitely eat that mm -hmm. that's incredible thank you so much you're welcome listen to the birds i love our backyard i'm like full I'm get no, no, that's not what I meant. That is not what I meant. Bo made us a little tuna wrap for lunch. I think it was high school that you worked in a deli. You worked at a sandwich shop. And Bo literally makes the best tuna. I wish you could eat this. Like the best tuna I've ever had in my life. This is the best one that you've ever made. I, I assume that you want, want some. Well, we're gonna make a little snack. Someone told me to try this and now I can't get it out of my head and I have to try it right now. It's a little Greek yogurt bowl, like a protein bowl with the strawberry equipped protein. And then I'm gonna top it with some strawberries. This is gonna be so good. And I have made huge progress with my progesterone this year, which is insane. Let me tell you about my progesterone in like two seconds. Let me just quickly whip this up first. So I'm gonna start out with my Greek yogurt. We're gonna chat about progesterone and everything that I've done. Like I'm gonna share the biggest thing that I've done to boost my progesterone that I can actually see has literally worked in my cycles. We'll talk about it in a second because my brain is just literally cannot, I cannot multitask. Okay, I'm gonna do half a scoop. A mix, 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 mix. Ooh, do I wanna do a full scoop? That's so good, I actually might do a full scoop. Little dollop of vanilla bean paste, honey. And then I'm gonna use three to four scoops of my Armour Colostrum, literally my favorite of all time. So three, Okay, perfect. Adds in so many nutrients, specifically hundreds of nutrients. Some organic, unsweetened coconut. Look at that. Oh. Oh my gosh. That could be my new favorite snack. So my progesterone, because that's the thing. Protein, blood sugar. This is like blood sugar regulation heaven. 
but let me explain why and it's not even maybe necessarily the reason that you think like with the protein so let me just okay I've made huge huge progress with my progesterone this year I was told by so many different doctors that I had the lowest progesterone that they had ever seen ever I went to probably like five different doctors and they all separate doctors told me that they were like you have the lowest progesterone that I've, I've ever seen and they all told me that I was going to have to be on progesterone and that's the thing is that I always thought it was my progesterone. The progesterone is the root cause. I have low progesterone, that's what's causing all my hormones. But as you know, which I've explained before, hormones are just the fruits of roots in the body. One of those roots being blood sugar regulation. When I did my Dutch test with Kale Diagnostics, a couple months ago, I had the best progesterone numbers that I have ever, ever had. This number was so shocking to me because you, I wanna see an eight for a really healthy progesterone level. And so the fact that I, and this was a few months ago, the fact that I was almost there is absolutely amazing. And the number one thing that I changed this year, the number one thing that I changed is blood sugar, is focusing on blood sugar regulation. And here's what I mean. I always used, I, you know, for me, I always eat, eat, you know, whole food diet. You see how I eat regularly. I do not claim to eat perfectly, but you see how I eat. I eat whole foods, fruits, vegetables. I eat protein forward meals. And so that's the thing. I was like, oh, surely blood sugar isn't going to be my issue. That's not an issue for me, but, oh, but the very big, but I was doing all of the right things for blood sugar regulation. But let me tell you something, you can do all the right things, but if you do not have certain beneficial bacteria, that is going to absolutely change everything. It completely changes the way that your body utilizes glucose. So if you have low levels of that bacteria, let me just put it this way. Two people could eat the exact same thing. One person has those really healthy, beneficial uh, bacteria communities, if you will, healthy microbiome, and somebody eats the exact same meal, exact same meal, protein, carbohydrates, fat. If they have low levels of that bacteria, completely changes the way that their body utilizes that glucose and can have blood sugar dysregulation by still eating the same food. It is so powerful how our, our microbiome is it is one of the most important things that we could focus on because having feeding, and so how do we do that? Let me just, let's just get to the point. How do you feed those good bacteria? How do you increase the good bacteria that help your body manage blood sugar? And managing blood sugar literally leads, because that's the thing, one of the driving things that, that blood sugar dysregulation does is it can really create anovulation where you're not ovulating. And if you don't ovulate, then you don't make progesterone. And that's the thing. If we're not ovulating or we're not having a healthy ovulation, we can still even be ovulating, but not having a really strong, healthy ovulation when you're making enough progesterone. And that's the thing. The foundation, the fo the first thing that we need to the check off the list is, is one of our first roots, I'll put it that way, is blood sugar regulation. So how do we do that? How do we feed those good bacteria? What do they eat? Prebiotics. The number one thing that I have focused on is blood sugar regulation, but specifically through feeding those good bacteria and feeding them prebiotics because that is the, the prebiotics is the way that we feed them. So by fortifying your gut, by feeding those good bacteria, you are quite literally igniting your metabolism. That is why this not only strengthens the mucosal barriers, but it feeds the good guys. And what happens when we feed the good guys, the prebiotics, it changes our metabolism. And this is why I always say healthy cells make healthy tissues, make healthy organs, okay? our reproductive organs make a healthy organ system. So that's the thing, for so long, I thought it's progesterone, it's progesterone, I just have low progesterone. I wish I could, but I've learned so much. This is why I share it with you because I've been there. I have been on the other side where I'm sitting and the doctors are looking at me telling me, you have the lowest progesterone that I've ever seen. And now I'm showing you my Dutch test where I am saying, look at the progesterone that my body is making. I dug so deep into researching this and this is why I was like, prebiotics are the missing are the missing thing for me that I need to be incorporating every single day. And since taking this every single day, you are feeding, I'm feeding that good bacteria in my gut with the prebiotics. When I started focusing on prebiotics, that is when my blood sugar changed. That is when I've seen a huge difference 
in my progesterone levels. And that is why I literally love knowledge is power. And I truly believe that when we are armed with knowledge, we can be empowered about our health. We can look at and we can understand, okay, my, you know, hormones, why are my hormones doing what they're doing? Because the cell, the cell, is, is not getting the nutrients that it needs. Maybe it is blood sugar dysregulation where the cell's not able to utilize glucose. And that's the thing, I could just talk and talk and talk. That is one of the many reasons the prebiotics in here that come from a whole food bioavailable source that is the most sustainable colostrum on the market and has all of those nutrients intact that allow your body to actually use them because that's the thing we we can we can take so many supplements and i'm so thankful for supplements but this is a whole food and the body is always going to be utilizing food the best there really is nothing else out there like this i was asked a question about that recently and they're just this is a one of a kind thing that that for your microbiome and for your gut health and for your hair. I seriously feel like my hair has grown so much since literally daily eating armor colostrum. It has those prebiotics in there. It has so many different nutrients that give your cells literally on a cellular level what they need. Because again, th this is what blows me away. Remember what I always say, healthy cells. Again, I just said this. If the microbiome is influencing the way that the cells utilize glucose, that is what we want to focus on because if we can feed the good bacteria that fuel healthy cells, that is exactly what we want to do. Because that's the thing. Again, we could be eating, you know, the the diet, but if the if the microbiome is low in those beneficial bacteria, which if you're not regularly eating prebiotics, there is a very good chance of that, then the cell, the cells, the healthy cells that make up the healthy tissues, they're not gonna, they're not gonna be able to utilize that glucose. And then that can affect ovulation, which is gonna affect progesterone. And the fact that I'm seeing my progesterone, I'm like, wow, this is so amazing to watch my cells and to watch my body change as I nourish and as I feed my microbiome and I give my body the nutrients that it needs to do what it needs to do, it changes everything. I am telling you from personal experience of many, 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 many years, I have never seen my progesterone level this high. And it is when I understood that healthy cells ultimately make up a healthy organ system that everything changed because I'm able to say, okay, then what do my cells need? My cells need to be able to utilize energy glucose well and how do they do that how, what is the first thing that we need is it is a healthy microbiome that changes the way that our body utilizes glucose metabolism is the way that our body utilizes the energy from our food and this is the most potent sustainably sourced bioavailable colostrum on the market i absolutely love it and i am so and i am amazed at, at god honestly and how a food is like literally can transform your health. It has completely transformed my health. So you can go to tryarmor.com slash Cambria and get 15% off of your first order. I will leave a link in the description box. This has changed my life. Everything can change when you focus on the cell. And that is what made everything so simple for me. So I'm very passionate about this and I love it so much how amazing is it that there are companies like Armra that cares about our health, that care enough to do third-party testing, to test for glyphosate, to make sure that it's glyphosate-free, to make sure that all the, nutri all the nutrients are intact, and to give us one of the most incredible foods really on the planet Earth. I am just, it, it honestly gives me hope. <laughs> it kind of restores my faith in uh, the world. Link is in the description, or again, tryarmor.com slash Cambria, and 15% off of your first order. So I'm going to finish eating this. This is delicious. And then Bo and I are going to go and get our steps in, which also helps our body utilize glucose well. Okay. We're going for a walk. It's time to get to 10,000. Let's do it. We're going to go for a nice long walk. Oh gosh, you get this walk. Okay. When you get like, when you start filling it, you get this like walk. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's just like your pants get extra high. And you just... <laughs> You ready? You get like this really funny look in your eyes. Like a bushy, bushy squirrel? I don't know. You just start you get Let it go like you Could be falling in
ocean. It's just a hand walk on the same ground. We got our electrolytes, celery juice on our walk, our pit stop. Oh, you feel good, but you did it. Just 10,000 steps. We did it. And if I show up, if I show up, will you show me around town? Will you show me around town? If I make you laugh, will you give me some time? Cause I know, that a girl like you. Hello, it's the next day. What a wonderful weekend that was. But when I went on a spontaneous little date night, I feel like I just shrunk down. <laughs> I have to like sit up. But anyway, it was a really spontaneous, fun date night. It was so much fun. And I just feel really thankful for this weekend. It was so full of so many beautiful things and so many things to be thankful for. And just as I was thinking and praying and reading and meditating, thankfulness has really changed my life in this season where I previously had found myself really just sadness kind of overtook me a little bit in the sense of like I just wish that I was further along I wish that I was I wish I've arrived basically and I'm you know ready to be in the next phase and season of life and it's it's so easy to focus on you know where we want to go but something that has really changed my perspective my heart my life is genuinely like looking back and just even in this moment making my uh what what did sarah call it my my good list you know my good list and finding and really just seeing not even finding but just looking at all of the things to be thankful for and just thanking god that he has brought me this far and that if he has brought me this far he is going to bring me all the way and 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 really that is something that i don't just rest in but i move forward in and i walk confidently uh, into the future knowing that God knows the plans that he has for me and yes it's like you know at the flourishing this is why I love this mug this is why we're all in the flourishing mug club because because we really we do go through hard things and the heat does get turned up in our lives just like literally the palm trees in the desert and it's it can be so hot and so unforeseen you know you don't see how crazy the weather is gonna get it just it just happens and and such is life and but i'm so thankful i am so thankful that we have a good shepherd who leads us by streams of quiet waters that he restores our soul that as we walk through the green grass and even through the valleys that he's with us and he's there and he's working everything together for good and he's gone before us and he is with us and he's never going to leave us and we never ever I never have to walk a day alone and I never have to worry that even on my worst days that God is 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 with me and he is going to he redeems everything. And as I as I think about that as I think about the future and I and I do you know remember the past I I can press on knowing that and and just being so thankful that and yes it's hard it doesn't mean that you know it, we do feel sadness I mean Jesus felt sad you know but I'm thankful that there is a hope in a future and and something that I've specifically been meditating on is that God is not just preparing us for here he's preparing us for forever and that has been a great comfort to me knowing that knowing that that he's preparing me for forever and for eternity and he's molding and shaping my heart for not just here and now and something that that is where i find true and deep satisfaction and like the deepest deepest satisfaction and not in not in any circumstance of my life or lack thereof or in a circumstance it is not in any of that it really is in him and i really do believe that we flourish that we really really do flourish when we are rooted and grounded in love in his love it sustains us it nourishes me it could make me cry right now because i have just i've i've walked through those seasons where you just you you think is this ever is this ever gonna end <laughs> and um and I know how that feels in my own way. Obviously, all of us are walking a different path, but 
the beautiful thing is what what holds us up is is his love and even though we all are on a different different you know all of our lives look different i'm so thankful that the one thing that is the same and the one thing that is constant is his love in our lives and so just want to remind you of that too you know if you are in a season where it's just you, you know you need that glimmer of hope you need hope and you need to know that there is hope there is hope there is hope and i just that's been really something that has helped me so much in this season knowing that god is shaping my heart for forever and it, and it's such a reminder it lifts my eyes from this life and it lifts my eyes um from the here and now and it gets my eyes on the things that are eternal and then the eternal comes in into this here and now and gives me the strength you know to keep going and it's just it's so beautiful and it's been I've been incredibly thankful for that. So our flourishing mugs that we get to flourish in in every season. And it genuinely reminds me of milk and honey that, you know, tasting the goodness of God in every season and circumstance. And when I was writing that devotional that I wrote that before I miscarried, it was I finished writing that just a few months before I got pregnant. And I just see how even that, you know, even my own words, you know, ended up nourishing my own heart. And as I've even read through that recently and, and read some of those devotions again, it's just been, it's a really, it's a really sweet thing to be nourished by the love of God. So anyway, I want to show you the giveaway. I already showed it to you, but I'm showing it to you one more time. You are going to win this absolutely adorable bag. I love this so much. And so you're going to get this, which is amazing. It's perfect for spring and summer. Honestly, you could take it to the beach, but it's a perfect little getaway bag. And then you are going to get a flourishing mug. So we're going to be in the flourishing mug club together. Okay. I'm so excited about our little flourishing mug club. It's so cute. Thank you, Hannah, for starting it all. And then you are going to get a copy of Milk and Honey, which is the devotional that I wrote again to taste the goodness of God in every season and circumstance. It goes through all of scripture, Genesis to Revelation, and just nourishing you in the love of God, really. So, so excited. You're going to get a signed copy of that. And all you have to do is leave a comment on this video and just leave a comment. You leave any comment that you want. This is just, you leave any comment that you want. Just put a little yellow heart. That way I know that you are entering to win. Just leave a little yellow heart at the end of whatever comment you want to comment. So I love you so much. Don't forget, you can go to tryarmra.com slash Cambria and you get 15% off of your first purchase because healthy cells make healthy tissues, make healthy organs, make a healthy organ system, make a healthy organism. And on that note, I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye. And if I show up, if I show up, will you show me around?